Right, so in this one, we are going to implement a bootstrap modal. What modals are, are these little pop-ups that allow us to display any type of information on um, our page. So if we actually scroll down and hit launch demo modal um, in goodbootstrap.com slash JavaScript, we can see that um, the modals, this is exactly what it is. So if I click X, it will close out. If I launch it again, hit close, it'll close out. If I actually click to the side of it, it also closes out. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And we can use this for actually doing pop-ups, uh, which is very simple. Um, and it's uh, essentially all we would do is launch this modal and then we would do it in a certain kind of interval for our usage, right? And to do this, we would just run a little bit of JavaScript as well as put the modal inside of our base template so then we can launch it anywhere. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our base template. So based on HTML, this is where I am. If I scroll now down to the bottom, I'm first gonna test out this function that jQuery has, which is called set timeout. So if I, inside of the document is ready function, I'm gonna write set timeout, set timeout. And right here we need a function name. So I'm gonna do tog or show modal, and then I'll add a time. So 5,000 would be 5,000 seconds. So since I have this function here, I actually need to create a function for it, or since I have this call here, um, I need to create the function of show modal. So to do that, you do function show modal, and it's not gonna take any parameters. And then we're gonna do something here. So I'm just, for now, gonna say console log showing. And let's take a look at what that does. So all I did here was declare a function and name it show modal. It's a little bit different than Python, as you see, Python would be def show modal. That's how you would do it in Python. But in jQuery, it's really not that much different, but it is slightly different. Uh, so we've got function show modal. And now we can check this out. This is a built-in function that's gonna allow us to show or run a function, another function at uh, and in a certain amount of times, so and it'll just, just delay that much time. All right, so if we go back into our project and do a refresh in here, Oh, let's go home, do a refresh here, go to inspect element, go to the console. We see that it says showing, and that was after a few seconds. Granted, I had to take some time to actually go there. Um, so that's kind of cool. So showing is a nice little feature of this, and that itself, um, the timeout itself should actually run um, again once we run that actual function, right? So we might want to actually run the timeout multiple times. So if we copy this and paste it in here, this would be in the case of, you know, if you ran the function and you wanted to run it again, this is how you would do it. So every five seconds, uh, ideally that function would just re-repeat itself. So one, two, three, four, five, and notice it's saying showing it says two here, and then it's gonna say three, and then so on and so forth. So if we actually did it at one second, it will probably go by a little bit faster. So I'm gonna remove this set timeout first and put it at one second and refresh and we've got showing and it's staying at showing right it only shows it one time so if we want it to be shown multiple times we would copy this and paste it here and this is just taking the function within itself so that's all it's doing and if we now have it at one go back in here and refresh uh, it's going to go every second now it's going to actually show us uh, showing Right, so it's actually gonna use that, that modal again. Um, all right, so that means that our timeout and stuff works. This function itself works. So I'm gonna change it to five seconds. So um, uh, 10 seconds again would be 10,000. And then if we wanted to do minutes, we would times this by the number of seconds in a minute, you know, 60 seconds. So 60,000 would be a minute. All right, so five seconds. And um, now instead of console log, we wanna actually display the, mod the modal. Um, so the examples on uh, getbootstrap.com, if we click on a button, the modal will show up. But what we want to do is actually have a function that makes the modal show up. So let's go first off, add the modal in. So we're going to grab this code right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it, bring it into our project, into base.html. I'm going to put it right here for now. Actually, better yet, we'll do include modal.html. And we need to create that. So let's go into um, templates, go to new file, 
save this as modal.html. So modal.html, save it, paste this in here. All right, cool. So now we've got it separate, which is eventually where we'd want it anyway. We don't want to have all this stuff in our base template if we don't have to. All right, so now that we've got that all set up, um, we can actually show the modal here. Um, so the modal, we actually will have to eventually add an ID to it. So let's just do that now. So div class modal fade, we'll add ID equals to my modal. Okay, so this is so we can actually grab that one specifically. And this could be marketing modal. Let's actually just call it marketing modal. So this means that we can actually grab the marketing modal specifically and use that. So now inside of this show modal function, I'm gonna grab it with dollar sign and then quotes, hashtag for ID and then marketing modal. And then we're gonna do modal and we're gonna say show. All right, so this is gonna show that modal in five seconds. So let's refresh in here. And after five seconds, it will show up and then it's gonna to continue to show up over and over again uh, because of how we actually have it set up. Um, so, looks like we might have an error. It's not actually running. So let's actually take a look at our script first. Um, we see we've got marketing modal. Okay, great. And the ID for the marketing modal, I did not save it. So now I have to save it. Notice that in my um, source here, it says my modal, it does not say marketing modal. So if I refresh now, it says marketing modal. That happens sometimes if you don't save it, as you see, I just did it. Uh, but after a few seconds, the modal showed up, uh, which is great. And after a few more seconds, it's going to try and show up again, uh, but it's not gonna show up because, well, it doesn't make sense for it to show up again because it's already showing. So instead, let's do toggle. All right, so now that I've got this in here, uh, so every five seconds or so, it should actually toggle it. And now if we wait a few more seconds, it's going to toggle as well. Um, and there it goes, it goes away, right? So this is another way they could do cool little things. Um, but unfortunately, if you have it constantly toggling like that, that might be a nuisance. So we're gonna do show and we're not gonna set a timeout again, right? So I'm not gonna have it run again. So basically, um, if I now run it where I have the marketing show up, and then if I close it, and then after a few more seconds, nothing happens. Um, this is good. So we don't want it to actually show up multiple times. We only want it to show up once. Now, of course, if we go to another page, uh, then after a few seconds, it's it's gonna show up again. And that's because of how we have it set up, right? So um, that's very similar. And that's because we have it on the base.html. Um, so what I'm actually gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up putting it to where there's some Ajax call here on show modal or just some sort of verification, maybe a session type of thing like what we've seen before to prevent this from constantly being shown. Because if we have, if they say something about this session, they dismiss it or uh, they already enter their email or something like that, we're not gonna wanna show this modal over and over again. However, if they are not logged in and then they keep going to different pages, then maybe we do wanna show it. Um, it's really kind of gonna be a little bit more effective to actually have something pop up on them to encourage them to email us or enter their email or something like that. So inside of the modal itself, we will be able to do input, let's say input class equals to form control. And then we'll say type equals to text and place holder equals to enter email. And there we go, we save this, go back into Chrome do a little refresh and again, give it a little time, allow it to actually show it. And now we see that we have some sort of email here. So this is great. This allows us to collect email addresses. And then what we wanna do essentially is collect the email address and then set something in our session, basically saying if request session um, has already entered email, then we're not gonna show that modal anymore or run that function at all, this whole thing, because it doesn't make sense. It would be a really annoying to nag them constantly to enter their email address, especially if they've already done it. 
Um, and then on, on the other side of it, we also wanna see if the user is logged in, because if they're logged in, we also don't wanna ask them for their email address, because if they logged in, there's a really good chance that they already have, we already have their email address. There's no reason for us to uh, you know, bug them with another one. Uh, but we might every once in a while want to use a modal to say, hey, like us on Facebook or hey, tweet something on Twitter. But again, those types of things are, um, uh, well, they're a little overwhelming sometimes and they might turn your visitor off uh, because if you are constantly bombarding them with all these messages, including we've got this slider and then we've got a message up here, if we're constantly hitting them up with all these different things, then perhaps our, they leave our site and never come back, right? Because of that reason. So we definitely wanna use this stuff sparingly, but that being said, we still should know how to do it so we can do it. All right, so in the next one, we will start to actually set up our function to handle email or all of the Ajax to handle email uh, and all that. So we'll see you in the next one.